So I'm into the uh, Baby Lock Destiny, and the complaint is that it's squeaking. And I ran it some and didn't hear the squeak. So I've got it all apart, and <clears throat> I'm looking at the bushing of the upper shaft. So the upper shaft is what makes the needle bar go up and down and the take-up assembly and, and all the associated things on the top. And the shaft goes through... Can see as the shaft is turning here it's going through a bushing here's the shaft going through a bushing and the bushing is a bearing and what it is is the shaft is hardened steel very smooth the bushing is a softer porous material metal that is impregnated with oil and these are very tightly fit together. And so as the shaft turns, it creates friction and it creates heat from the friction. And when the heat, uh, when it begins to heat, then the lubricants that are impregnated into the porous metal lubricate the, the points in between. And there's a lot of pressure because on this side, well, here's the motor belt, but um, over the top, you'll see that this belt here is the timing belt. And that's what connects the lower shaft with the upper shaft, is that timing belt. So there's a lot of tension on that belt. It's very tight. And there's an idler pulley that is made to make it tight. So it doesn't, because if it skips it, uh, a tooth, the, the machine will cease to work. So there's a lot of tension there. So I'm looking very carefully at this bushing and my photography here is not great. And where I'm looking is that meeting point between the shaft and the bushing. And as I turn it, there are portions where it's hard to see with the camera but you can see at that point right at the crack there is some black material it's almost like um it's black it should be perfect that tells me what that is is the shaft and the bushing should be very smooth. The inside of this bushing should be very smooth and this should be smooth. And with the lubrication, it stays smooth. When it begins to wear, then the metal, usually from the bushing, begins with the bushing and then it scratches this smooth um, steel. And eventually it will cause it to um, get worse and worse until it actually seizes up. It will s stop turning because it gets so um, hot. And then once it cools down, it will go again sometimes uh, briefly and then it will um, seize up again. But I'm seeing some material. Now, this may be nothing. It may work like this for years but I can see that it is there. Now, in previous times, I've worked on lots of machines that have bushing failures, and um, they uh, will definitely ooze black material from there. I'm trying to find uh, one in my drawer here without moving my an example but alas I don't see that but I have other videos where you can see it and I'll send some uh, I'll, I'll put some um, links into the into the, uh, the description here but so this the squeaking could be coming from there I don't know yet because I have I've just gotten it apart I haven't you know cleaned all this stuff out and scrubbed it all out and and you know, looked at everything else, but that's the first thing that I noticed was that, sh that bushing. So uh, I'm going to proceed and we'll see what happens.